Hey, Patty, where you guys rank uh, as a team, best ever, whatever, I, yeah, we can debate that, but dynasty, I think, is a, a pretty safe word to use with what you guys have done over the last six championships, one in four of them. Um, when you hear this program talked about in the same you know, sentence with like UConn women's basketball, Alabama football, those sorts of other programs, what does that do in your head? I guess I don't believe it, you know. I just... Nicole? <laughs> I don't know how to answer. I just, I, I don't think that way. Go ahead, Nicole. Um, Nicole Auerbach, The Athletic. Patty, you've seen the final out five times. Um, when, when this one happens, what's going through your mind? What feels different? What feels the same? What's that moment like? Well, first I'm like, what a fool. I just blew it. Here comes Texas coming back, and I'm trying to give Jossie a hurrah. And I'm like, I shouldn't have listened to JT Gasso telling me to do that. Um, it's, it's just kind of holding the it, – it, it's surreal. Like you just – the game goes by fast, and there's highs and there's lows. And you just walk. I just I sit back like a fan. That's what I do. And I just sit and watch. And it's just prideful to see these guys do that, to see them get emotional like I am right now. <laughs> On, they don't realize how good they are. Maybe I don't realize how good they are. Everybody asks us, and we just play. We just play, and we love to have fun and love to play. So when you ask me to compare, you ask me what it feels like, it feels like something we do every day at practice. James. James Hale, CBS Sports Radio in Oklahoma City. Patty, it was great listening to Josh and see how far she's come on your program. You have all, all your super seniors, all your seniors play a huge role on your team this year. Even Elam's a captain for the second straight year, and she's playing, you know, so uh, those – talk about great leaders for you. Wouldn't you agree that they did a great job for you this year? Yeah, this – I didn't mean to make you cry. Again. No, no, you did not make me cry. It made me cry. Um, I should be the only coach in the country that's not crying right now, right? Because every other coach sits up here with, and listens to their story of their kids. Um, but I know what I'm losing. I'm losing five superior super seniors. Um, all have different traits. All have done different things. But they all stepped up in this tournament like crazy. Um, Jana Johns got hot. Tail and Snow got hot at the right time. Hope took the reins um, and carried us for a while. Jossie is Jossie. Lindsay Elam is our captain and has been our captain and is the glue that makes this team stick. She absolutely is the glue. And what I love about her, she's not always in the game, but she's still our captain in the dugout. And... Um, what she's done for this program, I, I, I don't know how to, I could ever repay her, but she is one of those players that will be associated with greatness forever. Over here. Kayla Lombardo, Softball America. Coach, it's been 50 years since Title IX was passed, and I'm sure you've gotten used to the stands being packed and the ratings being through the roof, but where do you see the growth of this game going in the next 50 years? Man, I think you're going to see more elite, elite players coming on the scene. And as long as we can continue to play in these um, – big events with lots of fans you're going to see the passion you're going to see the energy you're going to see the excellence and I think what makes softball so fun to watch is just kind of the innocence of it you know that no one's trying to be a ham or a hot dog or you know big there's no super egos that you see out there it's just still kind of the innocence of the game that people love the passion the excitement and the fact that these are elite 
female athletes that we're watching. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.